Okay, this week's project's going to be a little bit different than normal, whatever normal is. Um, not going to be doing usual any electronics or train stuff. Just going to be doing a shop project. Um, I've got a, I've got all these uh, containers full of various components and stuff. Um, I've talked about these before. These ones come in three packs from Home Depot for fairly cheap, especially when they go on sale. These ones, which are almost the same size, come from Michael's, uh, you know, the craft store. They're not quite as versatile. They're not quite as durable. They've just got little foldy hinges here, whereas these ones have actual hinges. Um, these ones don't have adjustable dividers, unless you get out some tools and start cutting them out. But generally, they're not adjustable dividers. But that's okay for some stuff. And I got these with 40% uh, with off coupons, so they were fairly cheap too. But it took me a while to do it. But they're almost the same size. Um, you can see that. And I've got a bunch of them, and they're just piled up on top of various other surfaces. So I've got a bunch of them piled up there. There's a couple more down there. There's some more over there. And I've got a couple more that I don't have anything yet in yet. But I'm sure that's going to change um, with the incoming post bags and whatnot. So I'm going to build a dedicated shelf just to put those things on, which will also give me more room on top of all those other piles of stuff to put other things on. Because you've always got to have places for stuff. The spot that I'm thinking about is just behind my chair, right where this suitcase, which I don't even know why I've got a suitcase in here. It's got nothing in it. It never has had. But it seems like... It seems like that will be a reasonable place to put those. It's not going to interfere with anything because there's another shelf back there. And actually, I think... I think I want them that way so that I can read the label on the end of them and they're not quite as wide. And they will still fit without any problems. Um, obviously, that stuff's going to lean up against something else, but that's not an issue. But I think that's a reasonable place to put them. So I'm thinking that I'll make this pretty much the same height as these existing shelves, which is about 30 inches. Um, and this space in here is a foot wide by a foot deep, which is going to be perfect, or at least plenty, because these things are 10 inches by about 7. In order to do this, I'm going to have to move some of my neat little throttle holders, which is unfortunate, because that's the perfect place for them. I'll, uh, I'll put a link to the really, really old video where I made these things. They're super simple. They're just selfie stick thing, much like what my uh, phone camera is clamped into, and a uh, bolt and a piece of angle that stop. So here's the basic plan. Use a piece of wood, piece of wood, and some little metal angles sitting in there for these boxes to sit on, like that. Um, and I'm going to need a piece of wood going from the front uprights to the back uprights. Like that. And another one up there. And I'll probably... So that's going to keep that... What I'm going to need something across the back, I guess, at the bottom. And something across the back at the top. And if I've got enough wood left, I will put a kind of a tabletop on top of it. So I'll have these little metal angle brackets for as shelf runners for these things to sit on. Actually, let me go and grab what I found at the hardware store. And by hardware store, I mean the Habitat for Humanity Restore for 10 cents each. These little angly metal pieces. So I'm thinking that I can just put one on each leg like that and 
then I don't have to be too precise. If I go a foot apart, eh, 11 and a half inches apart with the uprights, yeah, something like that, between 11 and a half and 12 inches apart with the uprights, then I can put these things on either side and it should just work and not fall down. How hard can that be? Okay, with the magic of editing, I've got this thing mostly done. Um, I ran out of these things. I miscounted because math is hard, y'all. Um, so I'm going to have to go back to the restore and hopefully they've got some more. But there it is, close enough to be, to say it's done. Uh, it's a little wobbly that way. I'm going to cut some pieces to go across the top, like I was talking about earlier. That looks like a nice little tabletop. Uh-oh, I'm going to run a drywall screw. Okay. Let's see if it fits that spot. It's pretty good. Just like it was built for the place. Now then, let's see if it actually works. For the job. Resistors. Resistors. That's a little tight getting in. Well, just a matter of getting the right angle, I think. This is the heaviest one. It's full of nuts and bolts and things. I'm going to put it in the very bottom one. It's in the bottom one that exists right now. That works pretty well. But that's more resistance. Well, I think that worked out pretty well. Um, I'm certainly not going to turn this into a woodworking channel. Actually, just so that nobody can accuse me of turning into a woodworking channel, I'm going to make a modification to this electronics project right here. Okay, so this is red lens repair tape that I got from the auto parts store. Um, this is the fancy 3M brand. It's probably cheap generic brands too. But what it's supposed to be for is repairing the taillight lenses on your vehicle if they get cracked rather than actually, you know, spending the money. But it also works pretty damn well for adding contrast to LED displays. What do you think? I think I'm going to go for it. So, because I'm not interested too much in aesthetics, I'm just going to put it on there like that, nice and rough and ready. What do you think? back where it belongs that's more visible i think huh and pretty much in any orientation too well if i angle it up too much i'm going to get reflections but i don't know do i want to put a kickstand into that or is it better like or is it okay like that what do you think hmm 
Should I just do the whole front of that in, in that red tape? I know it's not going to add anything to the bottom, but it's just going to make it all matchy-matchy. What do you think? Okay, well that was a was a productive evening's work, um, play, fun, tasks, stuff in the shop. I mean, is it really work if it's a hobby? I don't know. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you stopping by and seeing what I'm up to. Um, if you've got any questions or comments or complaints or suggestions or anything else, throw them down in the comments below as usual. I will talk to you later.